Hello, welcome to this video. This is a live construction of the first concrete slab, and this type of slab is the rib slab system. So, in this video, we are going to be looking at the economical section of this slab in terms of the rib beam tension and compression reinforcement successfully, the arrangement of it, as well as the spacing that is given for this design and construction successfully. We we'll also move to Brother Structure to look at the design as well as we make progress. Stay tuned, stay connected, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Stop freezing. Let us get started. So you can actually see the design, the product structure. So this Iris slab is being designed using product structure version 2022 successfully. I actually designed as far as successfully so i have the needed experience to teach you if you are a learner and then you want to really understand the structure in terms of reinforced concrete slab design as well as all type of foundations for multi-story designs you can reach to me through the link in the description of this video and i will actually train you from a to z on the use of this program so here is the uh design in protest structure. We shall make progress as we will look at the uh, economical sections of the rich slab successfully. So this is so far the most economical section uh, that we have caught successfully. Okay. So you see we have rich slab section XX. We have section YY as well. And then Coming to the sections and the dimensions of the rib, as well as the rib spacing, we have the spacing right here to be 400 millimeters. Okay, spacing between the rib beams. All right, and then the width of the beam is 100. Okay, while the spacing is 400. All right, and so we have the overall depth of the uh, rib uh, slab to be 200. So you can see 150 plus 50 millimeters concrete topping okay makes it 200 total depth of the wrist slab which is quite very economical all right then the overall depth of the primary beam is 450 millimeters the width of that beam is 2 to 5 all right so the material used between the rib beams successfully you can see it right there have it called the same material and the sections we used at that site is 400 millimeters by 3000 millimeter that is the length all right 400 have to assume the width of the and that's to assume the spacing between the red beam okay that's why i said it 400 right there and then the length is three thousand millimeters then the depth is 150 which is this 150 that we're having right here okay so that is the material and then we have the a mesh of a142 or 116 at 250 millimeters center, center. since Rift slab is designed as a one-way slab. We only have this my steel running in a one-way direction, binding the whole ribs beams together. Okay, as you can see in the practical, uh, you know, experiment or the constructions in in that video. All right. So now we may progress. You can see the rib beam reinforcement. We have two reinforcement at the tension zoom. Of the red beam and one reinforcement at the compression zone of the red beam successfully so the whole of these sections is the most economical sections that our advice you to employ okay in your design successfully okay for the horizontal or for the tension and compression reinforcement used in this that will be effectively explained as we shall be carrying out the modeling analysis and design of uh, rib slab successfully using protest structure which is going to be in the upcoming video okay 
Also, if you have any questions, you can always drop it in the comment section below this video. Or open the description of this video and you will see a link to join our group chat where you can always ask the question and we, we are fully available to respond to your questions successfully. Okay? Whether constructions, wise question or question based on the program you are using to carry out your structural analysis and design successfully. So let us get back to the construction process as we make progress. And also, if you want to be trained, okay, so that you can become pro in the use of protest structure, you can always reach to us through the link in the description of this video. So you can see the white material. You can also see the uh, tension as well as the compression reinforcement of the rib beam successfully and the arrangement and as well the construction process of the whole uh, uh, rib slab successfully in this video. Okay, so we are going to be stopping here as we will proceed in the next presentation. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to hit on the like button. Also, not to forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe, subscribe to this channel so freezing. Okay, so we we'll see you in the next presentations. Stay safe and bye for now.